Well, here we are in Epworth, near, close to the White Bear. I'm very uh, happy to time with uh, one of the main, well, the main organiser of the Epworth Music Day, that's Peter Barnard. So, hello, Peter. It's nice to hello, talk Tony. to you. Yeah, How are you doing? All right? right? Good, thank you very much. Enjoying you, the day. Are you happy with the way it's going? Yeah, very much so. Um, a lot of pre- a lot of pre-planning goes into an event like today, um, and we've been working on this for a good 12 months, having had two years out with COVID. Um, and it's probably getting up to 10 o'clock this morning, we was all slightly nervous about whether it's going to happen as we'd hoped. You never quite know whether people are going to turn out in the numbers, but yes, we're delighted. There's a lot of people about, a lot of great music being played in Epworth. Now, you, just a bit of background. You, you, you're a musical man, if ever I did know one. Is it called Mowbray du Musique? Du Mowbray's music. Yes, du, yes. Uh, right, uh, music, not yes. music. Okay, yes, so tell me a little his- bit about that. Okay, so we're a historical group, so we concentrate on music and song from the 16th century so this is Tudor time up to the death of Queen Elizabeth in 1603 and we take our name um, after the de Mowbray family and the de Mowbrays lived in Epworth um, and Roger, uh, William de Mowbray was one of the surety barons for King John under Magna Carta. My goodness that's going back a bit. Let's go back a bit yeah. So you've had a great interest in music. I know you're quite a, a bit of a fitness fanatic as well. How's yeah, that going? Okay, oh, that's now? okay. Yeah, we're still, still running, but not today. Not today. <laughs> but going back, let's go back now today. How many? What, give, tell me about it. How many people we got here? How yeah, many sure. acts we got? Yeah, sure. So um, this is a free to attend event. So I, I have no idea how many people have come to listen. Um, but we normally think somewhere in a region of a thousand, fifteen hundred to two thousand, maybe. Uh, but in terms of musicians, we've managed to attract 57 different different groups of musicians to come and perform today. And some of those are some of those are very local, which is great because it gives them a platform to come and perform. Uh, some other people come from further afield. I was talking to someone this morning who come all the way from Wisbeach in Cambridgeshire. To come ah. I mean. Now, what's the format of the day? I believe you've got each group or maybe do two or three gigs at different yes. venues. Can yes. tell so, me a bit about that, please? So as, a, as, a, as an event, we've got ten different stages, uh, outdoor venues dotted around the village uh, where music is programmed from ten o'clock this morning till five o'clock this, um, this afternoon. In addition, we've got two, two um, venues where people can just sign up on the day and, and bus. Was that yeah. so? so we ask the performers how many sessions they want to give and the sessions normally 40 minutes they can do one two or three and then we jiggle the the um, numbers around until we've got a program sorted and we try and keep uh, performers uh, playing in different places one year to the next so that it feels different for them and also different for the audience so uh this is we're down at the white bear that's near the traffic lights in epworth yep so it stretches right through the town i think you've got a, a, a old school in you yeah the old the, school in what's uh, what's so the old school in um is one of the other pubs in in the village it's a bit further away from the main main drag and we were a bit nervous about whether it would whether people would go down there but the school in has its own following and they were very keen in the year before COVID when we ran out with Music Day to have an event, have, have that as a venue, to the point that they organised it themselves. So this time we've got, we've pulled them into the fold. They're, they're on board, but from here at the White Bear and the traffic lights, it goes all the way up through the high street, uh, through the marketplace, and then on to Albion Grove and the old rectory at the top of the village. Has, has any buskers turned up? That yeah, we've got some buskers, and I, I was listening to some buskers, interestingly, in Fox's estate agents, uh, where they, they've put a little space out for anyone who wanted to go and play, and uh, a nice five-piece um, a cappella group was singing in there. That's interesting, because I saw Jackie Mason out of uh, yep. Fox's, and I said to her, look, they've all booked up these people. If you can find a busker, you might just get them inside. So they've gone in there, they've have They've gone they? in there, yeah. Okay. Singing, yes. That's right. So you're really happy with the really day is ha- going? Really happy. I mean, the one thing we can't control is the weather. Um, which, is, which has turned out well. It's turned out all right, because the last couple of days has been roastingly hot. The forecast earlier in the week was for it to be shockingly wet. So far, we've stayed dry, and it's not too hot. It's perfect weather for wandering around and also for playing. Lovely. Well, it's, uh, thank you for that. It's been lovely seeing you again. I haven't seen you for a little while, but thank you for all you've done. Thank you thank for... You coming in saying a few words and uh, we look forward to a lovely afternoon thank you very much much. enjoy thanks okay peter bye thanks